Hi, I'm Kathy, I'm Kia Schifano. And I'm Thomas Nibbs. Today is Friday, January 17th. We're coming to you with another episode of WK Today. Your books are still on sale. If you're interested in purchasing one, please see Ms. Grossnickel. In addition, all students who have your yearbook ordered by January 27th will be entered into a drawing for a full refund and a free yearbook. If you still don't believe the yearbook is, is for you, let's take a look at what some of our own teachers say about their own yearbooks. <laughs> The yearbook staff works very hard from September to June to put out the best yearbook possible. All the hard work and dedication are what makes the yearbook award winning. Let's take a look into what some of the teachers think about yearbooks as a whole. I did every year. Yes, actually I got my yearbook all four years, so I have all of them. It's awesome. I do, yes. I look back at it quite frequently to show my kids how goofy I looked in high school, and it's, it's fun to look back. Absolutely, I still get mine out um, and look at them now, actually. From time to time, I will, um, and you look back at it and you laugh a lot because you see what people wrote, and, and now having kind of been away from it for a really long time, it just makes you laugh about even how you've changed or how the people you know have changed. It's a good thing. I liked, in my yearbook personally, I really liked the, um, the mock elections. Like they had best dress or um, class complainer person that would be, you know, most likely to forget their homework. Like those mock elections were really funny. Um, no, but I won most talented, so it wasn't the mock election. <laughs> I did. My award was most likely to come back and teach at my high school. The yearbook staff needs your help to sell as many as possible. They have sold over 500 so far, and the end of the year goal is 700. I think looking at, particularly now, hindsight, looking at what you thought you looked like and realizing that that's not what you look like and maybe you um, were, were, you thought you were better than you were at some things but you get a picture and you go, wow, I did not do that well at all. Um, like the funniest part, I, you know, there, the things that I think I laugh at the most, it's more like the, the quotes that people give. Um, I really like looking at the sports pages and um, I cheered in high school and ran track so I always like to go through like the highlights and, and see the pictures that they captured during the season. I do because you will, uh, it's nice to go back uh, for your reunions and things and see what you look like and all that good stuff. Uh, yes, absolutely. It's this, it's this great reminder of what high school was like and what you were like at that place and time in your life. And it's just a great keepsake and memento that you can always come back to. Um, it's awesome, I love it. Absolutely, yes. I, I know they can be pricey, but I'm telling you it's, it's worth it to have those memories. Um, you know, you may not always be able to track people through social media, but you're gonna always have that yearbook with you. So I think it's a really important part of your high school experience. They are sold out of room 501 during third hour for $75. And remember, the prices will go up the longer you wait. I think that you guys do a very good job of showing everything that we do here. Programs, uh, extracurriculars, you do a really good job of that. I really like the new feature where you guys have added like the QR codes and the, you know you can see videos from the moments in school. I, I think that that is absolutely the coolest thing that you guys have added in a long time for there to be like real life action as you're looking through the yearbook. This is Robbie reporting for WKHS TV. Seniors, there will be a prom meeting on Thursday, January 30th from 1.30 to 2 o'clock in room 409. All are welcome to attend. The ASVA B Career Exploration Program can help you take steps now towards finding a career that is right for you. Take advantage of the ASVA B Career Exploration Test as you consider a full range of career options. The free test will be administered on Wednesday, January 29th in the LGI at 7.30 a.m. You may sign up for the test in Ms. Davis' office. 2020 seniors, please check your emails frequently as the school will be letting you know of scholarship opportunities. If you have any questions, please see Ms. Davis in the T in room 106. If you have any interest in reading, listening, or writing poetry, you're in luck because Poetry Club is coming back. Ms. Farrow and Dr. P will be leading the club every first and third Wednesday starting second semester. They will meet right after school in Ms. Farrow's room, room 413. Now let's turn it over to Drew for a look at today's sport. Today for the captains, boys basketball is away at Lakeland. Freshmen play at 4.30, JV at 5.30, and varsity at 7. Girls basketball is home against Lakeland. JV will play at 5.30 and varsity at 7. 
And finally, Varsity Ice Hockey will take on West Bloomfield at Lakeland Ice Arena at 6. That's all for sports. Now back to you at the news desk. Thanks. The Waterford Mott and Kettering Performing Arts Centers are looking for paid student workers for the 2020 event season. There is not theater experience required. Interested students should attend one of the following meetings. The first will be today at 2.45 in the PAC or at Mott on Friday, January 24th at 10.45. Just as a reminder, there will be no school on Monday in honor of Martin Luther King Jr. Day. The final exams will start when we return next week. First hour finals is next Tuesday, and then there will be half days on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. In addition, this will be our last show for the semester. Well, that's all we have for you today. Once again, I'm Thomas Liz. And I'm Kayla Chapano. We will be back on Monday, January 27th.